Hey y'all, I'm Vanessa. Welcome to my living room. Today we're doing a review and tutorial with the LA Girl The Nudist Eyeshadow Palette. This is what it looks like. It has a nice big beautiful mirror and some beautiful neutral colors in here. And in the video I have on a t-shirt, I had to change that because it was just like this look was so beautiful and so easy i just i needed something more i needed a different shirt so overlook my super white chest i cannot help it it is winter so let's go ahead and get into this review and tutorial okay so i already have one eye pretty well done we're gonna start on the other eye and we're gonna go in with this shade right here. Nope, I lied to you. We're gonna go in with the white cream shade first and then we're gonna go in with this shade right here. Gotta get my crap together. And I'm just using a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna kinda rub that cream shade everywhere and put it on the brow bone. Just kinda blend everything in. All right, now we're gonna go in with the other shade and I'm starting it kind of right in the socket here and then blending out. And you can see this shade is beautiful. I absolutely love this shade. And then I'm just going to continue to build it, slowly build and blend. Um, this shade is beautiful. It blends nicely, but like your edges you do have to take a little more time trying to blend those edges out. But, I mean, for $10.99, and this mirror is a great mirror. Like, you can totally see my camera set up there, everything. <laughs> so, that's a really, really good mirror. All right, I'm gonna grab a different brush, and we are going to go in with this really warm shade right here. And I have used every shade in this palette. This is not a first impressions. So we're gonna build up this outer corner here, just slightly into the crease. I'm just kind of dotting it and then running it inward. Don't worry about our, our, our outer, I cannot talk today, you guys, gosh. Don't worry about our outer edge. We'll get to that in a minute. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna grab this shade. This is a shimmer shade. I'm gonna swatch it for you because it looks very, very different. It's a really different kind of shade and I really like it. So I'm gonna grab it on my finger here. And you can see it kinda looks silver, kinda looks brown, but when you start to blend it out, like it, it's just a really really pretty unique shade like it's it's just really pretty so i'm gonna kind of use this almost as a matte shade like it looks nothing like it does in the pan on your eyes or on your hand like it's just it's a beautiful shade i'm just gonna tap this on the eye there and then i'm gonna grab a little bit on a brush this is my Morphe M507, and I'm going to start to blend this up a little bit. Because once you start to blend it, it looks more of just like a brown shade. Alright, so let's just gently start to blend this guy up. I'm going to go in with the warm shade again, and just touch it right above this shade. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this shade and we're going to tap it on. It's more of a glitter shade, but I'm just going to tap a little bit on there. And then I'm going to grab this shade right here. No, this shade right here. These two are more of your traditional shimmers. Um, they're pretty strong shimmers. I wouldn't really consider them metallics. They're very soft. And I really, really like these shades. Like, I did not think that I would because I really like metallic shades now. But I like it. It's just, it's soft and it's really pretty. And I actually prefer these dry. I have tried to use these wet and they just don't perform as well as I'd like. So, I'm just going to build this up a little bit here. 
And then I'm going to take this gold shade. I'm telling you guys all wrong. I took this shade on the lid. These two are your traditional shimmer shades. This one is like this one down here where it's more of a glitter shade. So I've got that on my finger and I'm going to press it right in between. I'm going to take just a wee bit of this dark brown here and just put it right over top a little bit of this edge. Now for the lower lash line, I'm using that same little Morphe brush. I'm going to go in with this one first and then this one. So I'm grabbing just a smidge of that dark shade. I'm going to run it super duper close to our lash line. All right, and then I'm taking that shimmer-ish shade and I'm running it right below. Going smoky today. All right, and then I'm going to grab our peachy shade that we use for the transition and I'm running it right below. Then I'm going to grab a pencil brush and this shade right here and we are going to highlight the inner corner with this like i said these are just shimmers they're not metallics but i actually really do like them and that is our eye look so i'm going to go off camera of course do my brows finish up the eyes and i'll be right back Okay guys, so this is the finished look with some lashes on and brows done to the best of my ability today anyway. Um, so I threw on, okay, I've already lost the package. That's the way my day's going. But I threw on some um, LA Splash lashes. They're like my new favorite bold lash. Um, they're just super, super easy to use. Like they have a thicker band, but they lay right on your friggin' eyelashes. Like it's a little bit thicker, but you can set them directly on to where they are just the absolute easiest to put on. I did just a really thin black line. I did a light black, um, eyeliner on my waterline, but I only took it halfway in. I've got Rimmel Spice, um lip liner on and then I threw a gloss on top so this is it um I really really like this palette like I said I have used every shade in this palette um the black isn't the blackest black but I do really really like it and everything blends out nicely I mean for $10.99 I really really like this palette I had never used any LA girl um, eyeshadows. So I was pretty surprised at the quality because it's like, this is, this is the e.l.f. palette, the sunset palette. It's $10. So you can get this or you can get this and they have another shade selection of this as well. It looked warmer to me. Um, but I don't know why I chose this one. I guess to be a little more out of my comfort zone because normally I would go for the other palette. I honestly would. But I really liked this one and it worked really, really well. Um, I really like the shade, this one here that we put out on the outer corner and under the lower lash line. It's just different. I really, really do like it. Um, so I do recommend this palette and I'm probably gonna get the other one just to try it out because I do like this one so much. But I would definitely choose this over this. So I hope they make a whole lot of different palettes of, of these. Because if they had colors like this one and the e.l.f. palette and this one, I would absolutely love, love, love it. But, you know, just for a natural kind of everyday palette, I think this one's really, really good. I mean, it's called the Nudist, so it's a nude palette. And I mean, you don't have to go so smoky with it, but you could throw this on and be out the door and I really do like it. Plus this huge mirror. Like this is a great mirror, you guys. Like it's big and it's clear. And I really appreciate that in a palette like this, especially for the price. So I highly recommend it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you're having a great day. If you like this, please subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.